If I die today, I can honestly say that I've enjoyed every single day of making videos. And I don't think most YouTubers even care about their audience or care about gaining subs or don't. They don't take it seriously, but I'm going to do this till the end. Until I have 100 million subs, 200 million, I don't know how many subs I can get. But no matter how many I get, I will always care about you, Arlenators, everyone who subscribes. All right, so this world is going nuts, man. We we got bad baby goes off on six nine. Says Trippy Red made him. Okay, let's check this out. Oh, wait, wait. First off, bad baby, you kind of have nothing to say. I mean, Doctor Phil made you. You know what I'm saying? Had this shit on all day. Let me tell you something right now. I, I I want some receipts because I know damn fucking well I never asked you to be on no fucking song. And I. It's crazy how this girl's 14 and 15 or 15, whatever. And she's in a pair on the on the video, like pulling her bra up, showing all that cleavage. It's crazy. Like only only people can get away with this in America. It's it's crazy. I know my label did not. I, I mean, I don't think it's. I guess it's okay to be free. You know what I'm saying? She wants to be 14, 15, doing all that. But then, I just think it's crazy. For no fucking song, you little fucking weirdo. So get the fuck out of here. Go do something with yourself, bitch. Go go find something better to do with your life and talk shit. The fuck? I wanna, I wanna know. I wanna know who the fuck, who the fuck asked you for a song. Cause I know damn well it wasn't me. <sighs> Weird ass fucking little boy. Not even, but you a grown ass fucking man talking shit. The fuck? I, I wasn't even gonna say nothing to you. Like I really wasn't. I really wasn't gonna do all this. I had made a joke. I made a joke, and then you took it all serious and started making up lies and shit. Like get the fuck out of here, man. Some whack ass shit. Bitch, I'm talking about 6 9 the fuck? Ooh. Ooh, why is she talking like that? Oh, so Ari said drag her. Ooh. Bitch, don't you ever, don't ever make a lies about me. Bitch, don't ever. Don't ever make a lies about me. Don't ever do that in your life. The fuck? You got shit fucked up totally, completely, 100% fucked the fuck up. Give me my fucking phone. Bitch, talking about some, I wouldn't be shit if I didn't be my mother. Bitch, you would not be shit if Trippy didn't put you on that song with him. Get no one, no one knew who the fuck Six Nine was until Pose came out, and people still don't know who the fuck, bro. And even after Six, after Pose came out, people still didn't know who the fuck Six Nine was. The fuck? People even made edits of that song without you in it, and said the better version of Pose uh, fourteen sixty nine without fucking your little dumbass. So get the fuck out of my face. A fuck you whack ass fucking childish ass motherfucker. I'm shook that she is that petty. Like I'm I'm shook that she is that what <laughs> Oh like someone needs to shut her down. Like I, clearly it could be me. Because me I wouldn't use like like tense like curse word cur uh, like cursing words and like I would use logic against this this is like like she is so unintelligent like I mean but that's part of it because she's young you know she doesn't know a lot she's been pushed into this fame position so I can kind of understand but like there's better ways that to deal with things like this like you would think if she's grown up watching the internet she would know how to deal with PR and know how to deal with drama she, she, but she doesn't have a clue. <laughs> this is terrible. Like, this is...
this is what you call a young person being put into 15 seconds of fame because I'm I, I'll still be here it's hard to say if people would care about bad baby in 10 years they probably won't I already don't care I just think it's interesting all this beef you know right bitch you would not be shit without trippy right that boy made you the fuck you're his fucking child you're his son Wanna talk shit about I wouldn't be shit without if I didn't be my mom. Bitch, you don't know half of what you fucking talking about. But every I mean part of it is that you disrespected your mom and you got on Dr. Phil and you stole a car. So I mean the half of it, I mean he does know the half of it. <laughs> I Come mean on. their fucking mother knows damn well you would not be shit without Trippy. The fuck? Trippy even gave you the beat to gummo, so get the fuck out of my face. I don't give a fuck if he big on billboards, the fuck? That don't mean nothing. That don't mean a goddamn fucking thing. He big on billboards. It really don't. Like, at the, in these days, like, just because you get a lot of streams, yeah, you make a lot of money from streams and you make a, you know, you get on the board, the charts. I mean, it doesn't really mean anything until you get platinum. And even if you get platinum, it's not... Rice gum got platinum, and I, I say this, rice gum isn't bad, Okay. Rice gum isn't bad. I was just saying, I don't think he deserves a platinum award just as much as Drake does. Drake are arguably worked harder. You know, just artists that worked their whole lives to get to that point. And he got it just by being a YouTuber with a lot of viewers. So, yeah. Fuck. Bitches got like fucked up completely all the way. Damn fucking right, exactly. And this is like, this is what's becoming an issue with social media too. If you really think about it, this is a huge issue because instead of just not ignoring everything and just working on herself and working on building her income and working on building the brand she already has, this is what you call someone who is out of control with their own brand. She's hopping on the internet to give validation from others on social media about drama. Now, if she's doing this for marketing or to like, it's smart and it probably caused more attention. But if she's doing this because she solely feels like, oh, I need to hop on here and explain myself. They still don't care. <laughs> like, it, it just, I, like, no one cares. No one cares. The only reason people are watching you essentially is because they know you have money or believe you have money or you got known on Dr. Field now you have all this money, you know? And they somewhat, I guess, could like your crazy personality, even though you shouldn't be saying the things, half the things you say because you're like 14, 15, you know? Exactly, the fuck? Hitting her mom, bitch. You know what? I can tell you to go stop doing, but I ain't that type of person. So get the fuck out my face. Oh, bro, I'm really mad. I shouldn't even be mad about this. Fuck, yeah, you, you, you shouldn't be mad about this. You're you're acting like a child. You know, ironically, you are a child, but. <laughs> no headed ass fucking. Oh my gosh. What's up, fams? We gotta talk about this. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button. Let me get some and water. Shout out to my gang, gang, gang. Oh man, this is getting good. I was out getting something to eat with the fam. I had to come home to make this video. Let's talk about it. Can I get a doctor? <laughs> this 6 9 sing that in one of his songs, man. Like, we may have to get a doctor. I kept trying to tell 6 9 through my last video. I said, please, please. Actually, I didn't say please. I said, stay away from the kids, man. Leave Danielle Bergoli alone. She is not the one to mess with, man. Now, I've done many videos on Danielle Bergoli. I know her too well when it comes to this beef stuff, man. Now, she's not gonna shy away from anyone. I don't care if it's Malu or Vicky, and now I'm seeing her drag you. Now, in this situation, right, we got a girl that's 15 years old, you're 21 years old. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when Danielle Bergoli comes after you? Now, we all know what this situation is of, right? Danielle Bergoli, she was, like, joking. 
She was asked something on the street about working with 6 9 right? And she said that she liked his music. She thought the interview that he had with Charlemagne was funny, but she didn't really like him as a person. Now, that was that. Now, 6 9 he took offense to that. He took so much offense to that that he went at her and he said, look, you got famous for beating your mom, okay? He said that she's just mad at him because she wanted a song from him and he told her no. She's saying, look, none of that happened. I never wanted a song from this dude. My <laughs> look, Daniel Bregoli is a kid, okay? She a child. She a <sighs> People never wanted a song from this dude. And in fact... How about you show the paperwork or show any kind of proof that my people or me ask you to work? Now, isn't that funny, this situation, right? Mr. Paperwork, who would always tell other people to show paperwork. I don't think 6 9 is going to present any kind of paperwork, man. I think he knew he could slide that little bitty lie in and some people would believe it. Now, she went off at that point. What is 6 9 going to do in this situation? What is he going to tell her to test his gangsta? I mean, she would actually do it. She would actually pull up to Brooklyn in the slums or wherever you at with her bodyguard named Frank, and you would have a good old one-on-one. -on -one. Here's the thing. I think 6 9 is realizing that he made a mistake even entertaining this whole situation because now, if he responds... I'm letting you guys know right now, she's going to pull it out the bag. And I think we all know what I'm talking about. She's going to pull up them allegations. She's going to start calling you all kinds of names. And that's going to have you looking real silly. I'm just letting you know right now, you might want to back off of this one, man. This is a Are people that scared of these kids. Like, what? only in America. <laughs> kids pulling up like... <laughs> This is such a meme. This this has got to be the biggest meme ever. This this is a meme. This has to be. It, this this dude literally just said she's he's gonna pull out the bodyguard friend. <laughs> I can't take this seriously. Hey guys, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> And I'll see you guys next time. Oh my goodness, what in the hell is this?